Hello, thank you for that warm introduction. My name is Jumante Estrada, and I'm a junior at the Jinkleton Preparatory School. My school is one that serves low-income inner-city students of Houston and Baytown. I started attending Chinkle Pen in the eighth grade. Prior to ad attending my current school, I went to one where bullying was a common thing. Despite what you may see today, I was often bullied. The primary reason that I was bullied was because that I had different interests. Where some were interested in fashion and the latest trends, I was more interested in my grades and different genres of music. Some may say I was a bit of a nerd. I lost my sense of confidence and developed a more reserved demeanor. It was not until participating in the Woods Project this summer that I regained my sense of self. This summer, I was fortunate enough to go to Downer Pass in California. For two weeks, I was surrounded by nature. Once at the San Francisco airport, we drove three hours to Downer Pass where we would spend the next week at Hutchinson Lodge. Prior to this, I never had an experience like this before. Although I traveled to California before to visit my grandparents, I never experienced something so different. I had a hard time convincing my mother to allow me to go on the trip. She had no idea what I was going to be doing, but with some pleading and prodding, she trusted me. She told me that she knew that I would do well in whatever I was getting myself into. While sleeping outside, I would wake up and because of the time difference between Texas and California, I would actually get to see the sunrise. And that was the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen. While we were at the lodge the first week, we participated in the day hike for each day for three reasons. To acclimate us to the elevation, to learn about the environment through ecology and geology lessons, and also to build a relationship between the two teams. My team, the best team, contrary to popular belief, was led by Mayra Dos Santos, Jesse Carrillo, and Chuck Kaiser. It was during this time that my communication and leadership skills would be tested. Because of my personality, I was terrified of meeting new people. More importantly, I was afraid of meeting the other students. I was afraid that they would not like me and that I would experience this whole thing all by myself. As the week progressed, I began to get to know my teammates and I learned that these negative ideas would not become my reality. I learned that they were also not out to push me over a cliff as I thought. In fact, they had the same fears as me and they thought that I was funny. The second week would be when my leadership skills either became my greatest asset or my biggest downfall. Spending a week backpacking for the first time proved to be the most defining time of my adolescence. It was then that I gained my smile back. I decided to be a contributing member of my team. One thing that I learned at the Woods Project that enhanced my communication skills is how to continue to work with people even after you're angry with them. While on the trip, there was a particular person that I did not get along with. We got into an argument while we were setting up the tent that night about whose turn it was to sleep where. <laughs> to summarize a long story, I had to learn how to put my emotions aside and continue to work with my teammate despite my differences with him. An instance where I use this lesson in my everyday life would be with my biology teacher. Initially, we did not get along. In fact, I was sure that he wanted to see me struggle in his class. But I persevered through my emotions and figured things out with him, and now I'm doing well in his class. The most noticeable aspect about me that has changed since my experience with the Woods Project is my self-perception. One of the most important things that the Woods Project has taught me is that, as cliche as it might sound, I can honestly do anything that I put my mind to. The most triumphant moment of my entire trip was when I went rock climbing during one of the day hikes. It was not the fear of heights that were conquered, but a fear of self. I was afraid of my own potential. I remember the feeling when I climbed the granite slab and reached the top. I wanted more. I wanted more success, more perseverance. It was when I, went, it was when I climbed the slab blindfolded after seeing many eight-year-old girls do it that I saw that I was foolish to ever doubt my capabilities. I learned that if I choose to do something, I have to support myself before anybody else can. One of the things that I remember repeating to myself is, what did I get myself into? I now have an answer to that question. I got in tune with myself. Looking forward, I plan to attend an out-of-state college. I want to use my college career as an opportunity to build upon the leadership skills I already have. I will be an active, influential part of my community. 
When I think of growth, my mind soars back to the day that I completed my Woods Project application. Thank you for providing me with this opportunity.